Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm gonna teach you how to hit your driver better. So recently I did a tip called <laughs> Driver Good, Iron's Bad. And then of course, everyone that hit their driver bad said, hey, you know, <laughs> do you have a tip on that? So that's what this tip is about. This is Iron's Good, driver bad <laughs> all right so this should get your driver you know back on track getting you hitting more fairways and of course hitting it longer hopefully you enjoy this tip if so give me a thumbs up click on the red button to subscribe to my channel and then click on the bell so you're notified when i post new tips and please tell all your friends about my tips you know there's a lot of other people out there that need help too So if you're someone that is hitting the irons well, but hitting your driver poorly, there's numerous reasons for that. So <laughs> some of it is you are too tilted with driver. So if you step up to your driver and you start bending over too much, your body is gonna act like a seesaw. You're gonna be going up and down with your driver. So imagine this head cover right here. Ideally, I want it to be swinging around like this on a flatter plane. All right, so that would require you to stand taller. So now if you started bending over a little bit too much with your driver, you can see it starts getting steeper. So with driver, we want to feel like we're up. Okay, this it's almost like the reverse of the last tip I did <laughs> when people hit their driver well, but they are irons poorly. They're too tilted. Okay, so here, you're probably too tilted with your driver. Like, as an exaggeration, if I went like this, would I, do you think I'd be able to hit a driver from here? Like, it wouldn't happen. Not that you're like that, but if you're just a little too bent, you know, you can get into this situation where you're going like this, right here. So a little bent over, you're going down and down. Okay, kind of like a seesaw. Okay, like that. I want you up so we're going around and around all right so with driver make sure that you are kind of measuring your setup angle so you do a setup like this and just kind of think okay i'm up here like this my chest is well outside the ball so from that starting point of being up here are you really going to go like that probably not with being up, you'd go around. So that's kind of what we're looking for. That's the first step. So we're nice and tall. Then we go around. Okay. So hopefully that fixes it. Now, there's other things you can do too. Keep in mind, a driver is the club in your bag you know hits it the longest. So what are you going to do when you get a driver in your hands? You're gonna to try to whack at it as hard as you can. Irons have loft or more loft on them right here. So you can kind of get away with an iron. You start hitting that driver real hard, it has minimal loft. So now you start creating more side spin than back spin. All right, so your mishits are amplified with a driver versus an iron. The lower the iron, the harder it is to spin. All right, so as you start getting more up, you have less loft, now you get the spin, now you're actually seeing what's going on with your shots. All right, so if you are slicing it, which is probably gonna be the case, that is you swinging too hard. Your wrists are a hinge, right here. This is a hinge. It hinges, and it re-hinges. It hinges, it re-hinges. So if you're hitting a slice, you're starting with that, and you're hitting it with that. The face is open. Yeah, if that was a loose hinge, it would never come through open though. It would always come back where it started 100% of the time because the hinge is loose. So if you lock up here, you run the risk of hitting it with the face wide open. Now you start slicing your driver, but you don't slice your irons. Yeah, because the irons have more loft on them. You're gonna get more backspin. So it's harder to, you know, spin or slice, let's say, a seven iron than it is to slice a driver okay so 
we want to loosen up our wrists. Just see them as a hinge. If you're someone that is slicing the ball, you are way too tight. Loosen it up. Just in your mind, think hinge, re-hinge. What would a hinge do in life? Oh, okay, so don't practice going like this and locking it up. Just watch the face right there. Okay, if I'm hitting it like that, I don't want to do that. There, it's square. I'm going to hinge. I'm going to come back to square, and then I'm going to re-hinge. That actually doesn't happen until here, but good little drill you can be practicing. Just do it here, right in front of, like right there. Okay, that'll start to unlock your wrists. Another one would be topping. If you top the ball, you are ahead of the ball when you hit the ball. So, pretty simple, right here. A lot of people sky the ball. Well, that would be too steep as well. And you're getting ahead of the ball as you hit the ball. So you're here like this, and then you start leaning forward. Well, if you move ahead of the ball, now it's on its way down. The driver goes right underneath the ball. It hits the crown of the club and pops it up. So easy, just stay behind it. Keep your head behind the ball. When you hit the ball, you will never, ta uh, never sky a ball ever again if you do that. All right, so there's numerous bad shots you can hit with driver. Just understand, it's the longest club in your bag. You're going to want to hit that way harder than you're going to try and hit a 7-iron. So what are you going to do? You're probably going to lock up. Okay, if you lock up, you're potentially tightening the hinge. Well, that's a problem because you might keep the face open. Now, if you're up here and you're getting ahead of it, which most people do because they're trying to hit with their arms, you run the risk of skying it. But not only that, you actually run the risk of coming over the top too, over the top. So we don't want to do that, obviously. So a couple things we got to be aware of, all right? We got to be looser. You got to just shake out that energy with your driver, okay? Don't, don't try to kill your driver. Okay, if you have that mindset and you are not killing your driver, then why would you keep doing that? <laughs> you know, you're doing something that doesn't work. So try something different. Swing easy with your driver. Let's see what happens. I guarantee you will hit it just as far, if not farther. And it'll be a feeling of nothing. That's what I teach. You know, I teach this effortless golf swing. So why not just start loosening up? Okay. So loosen that up. Try it a little bit different. So looser, okay, looser hinge. So it hinges and rehinges. Relaxed arms. We're not trying to kill it. And we need to stand tall or taller at setup. So we get the plane moving more around and around, not up and down, okay? So you do those things, if you're someone that hits the driver bad, but the irons well, this will definitely get you back on track, okay? Once you start hitting the driver well, then <laughs> obviously you shoot better scores. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.